find the values of sine and cosine in quadrant one. I'm going to show you a hand trick to help you memorize the unit circle. In the palm of my left hand, I have written square root over two. And on my fingers, I have written the degrees and radian measures that correspond to quadrant one of the unit circle. You can see that on my pinky finger, I have zero degrees or zero radians, which corresponds to the x-axis. On my thumb, I have 90 degrees or pi over two, which corresponds to the y-axis. Those are my quadrantal angles. Then you can see that my other fingers, I have 30 degrees, pi over six radians, 45 degrees, pi over four radians, and I have 60 degrees, pi over three radians. Let's first of all talk about our quadrantal angles. Remember that a, on a unit circle, the radius is, zero, is one. So if I start at my origin, I would go over one unit and up zero. Therefore, cosine has a value of one and sine has a value of zero at zero radians. Now let's look at 90 degrees. I start at my origin of zero, so I stay at zero, but I do go up on my y-axis one unit. Therefore, at pi over two radians, cosine is zero and sine is one. Let's look at the other angles and let's pull the hand back down. All right, if I'm going to look at 30 degrees or pi over six to find the values, I'm gonna pull this finger in and I'm gonna see that on the left side, I have one, two, three fingers. So the square root of three over two is going to be cosine, the square root of three over two. On the right side, I have one finger. So the square root of one, which is one over two is sine. So at pi over six, my values are for cosine, square root of three over two, and for sine, one half. Now let's look at 45 degrees. I pull in that finger and I can see that on the left side, I have one, two. So the square root of two over two is cosine at 45 degrees. On the other side, the right side, I have two fingers also. So it is the square root of two over two. So at 45 degrees or pi over four radians, my value is cosine square root of two over two, sine square root of two over two. Now let's look at 60 degrees or pi over three. If I pull that finger back, I can see that on the left I have one. The square root of one is one over two, gives me one half for cosine. And on the right side I have one, two, three fingers. So the square root of three over two that gives me the value of sine. So here are the values in the first quadrant. This should help you to memorize the rest of them.